you can almost predict within a percentile, I would say 100 percent certain that you're going to have a major terrorist attack in our country because of what they're letting into our country on the southern border. This section of the Mexico-Texas border is called Eagle Pass, and it's one of the most popular crossing locations for illegal migrants to get into the U.S. More than 300,000 people cross here every month. And Islamic and they're being put in these countries deliberately and you're right they're of military age every bit of this is by design it's not just to to create an imbalance this is a deliberate plant of a fifth column in all the western nations that's exactly what this is it's, hmm. it's you got to call a spade a spade and it's exactly precisely what is needed to to to, to basically have the western nations come together and declare war on oh, the Middle East. It's exactly what is needed. And it's all by design. They let him through. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. America! 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 Here we have military helping migrants cross into the U.S. illegally. <laughs> They've set up UN camps all over Central and South America that I covered today in great detail with the investigative journalist Michael Yawn to bring them into the country. The same invasion strategy that was used on Europe in the last 15 years. This is all official. And when you watch the congressional hearings, they never bring up State Department money funding over 70% of it. The UN funds 10%, Communist China funds on average 20%. So in a consortium of the US government and Communist China and the UN, they built these giant refugee centers and fly people and pay them to come and then stage and invade the United States. Because if they built a UN camp in northern Mexico, it'd be too obvious. So they do it in Panama and other areas. And Biden's not just selling our border wall. He's opening gaping holes in it so migrants can march through. We had no terror, zero, for four years. All those people you see come in in the invasion, and it is an invasion, and many of them happen to be all male from 18 to 25 years old, perfect age for a soldier. 27,000 from China. Think of that. Are they building an army within our country? Could that be possible? Not even a secret. The playbook's been known. But in order to get the Western world to absolutely rise up in arms and to take up that nationalist, take up that, that pride, and all come together to fight a common enemy, it's going to take a catalyst. And Funky Prepper, that's what we're seeing right now. We're mm -hmm. seeing the elitist prepare the catalyst that's what all this is about it's all about putting all these cells out this isn't a con condemnation of islam this isn't a condemnation of people from the middle east it's not this is cultures races nationalities being used as pawns by elitists all right this is part two of what to expect in 2024 and what is really the next stage of the game and what jason brashears is referred to as the opening of the second seal. So credit to him for um, for decoding that. And it's, it's made it very clear that what we're experiencing in is a blueprinted program. And the blueprinted program is, part of it is the three world wars, but also that they're following this religious blueprint program. And it's interesting that um, those that are pushing forward with this the most as far as the flooding of migrants into America and into Europe is all being set up for the unleashing of the nihilist and what they called in um, Albert Pike's letter to Giuseppe Mazzini of the three world wars and the unleashing of the nihilist. You look at the three world wars. First of all, the status quo as it was before World War I was destroyed by World War I. They then change the status quo and they move on to the second world war. They destroy the new status quo and now they want to destroy this status quo and impose another one. 
and it was all described in a letter alleged to come from this man, Albert Pike, in a letter in 1871. This guy, Albert Pike, was a major, major Freemason, very high Freemason, uh, sovereign grand commander. And in this letter, which was revealed by this intelligence agent in the 1950s, he described the three world wars. He described the First World War accurately, he described the Second World War accurately. So we've only got the Third World War left. And what he said would happen is that there would be a conflict between what he called political Zionism and the um, Islamic world, which would draw in like a vortex more and more countries until it was a world conflict. He said that in the run up to this Third World War, they would quote, unleash the nihilists on the world. And nihilism is uh, defined as a political belief or action uh, that advocates or commits violence or terrorism without discernible constructive goals. ISIS and these other terrorist groups do it. What they 